the professional development in prosthetics and orthotics, especially if you want to advance in prosthetics and orthotics, you don't get it in South Africa. For a very long time, it has always been provided by one institution that was Tswane University of Technology. And partly because of that, there have been a limited number of prosthetics and orthotics in the country and also in the province as well. The services were skewed towards the urban located patients. Amputees were subjected to a waiting period averaging from one year to a maximum of 39 years waiting for a prosthetic device. What I observed in Australia, I was fortunate enough where I have access to clinical exposure and the management of rehabilitation at large and rehabilitation in the community for that matter. Specifically, what I did to improve service, I applied for a direct aid program fund provided by the Australian government. Up to now, we have manufactured 35 devices. 35 amputees have been fitted with prosthetic devices. So the idea behind was to expose our students in the rural setting where there's almost none in terms of resources. So we wanted to give them that exposure so that as they are growing in the profession, they know there are such settings and when they're deployed in those settings, they should have enough skills and they should be competent in working in those environments. Okay, basically I'm just doing the finishing off of this arm. This patient is one of the patients that have really benefited from this project as it's a young man that was involved in a traumatic experience that got gunshot to a taxi fight and I believe this arm is really going to change his life. And I personally speaking, I have benefited a lot from this project as I got to view new technologies in prosthetics. My name is Luan Funal. The situation with, before I was not having this leg, it was very difficult. Sometimes there were times that I can feel that I cannot do anything at home. I can't even carry anything. A lot of things has changed now since I have received this leg. I can do all the things that I want without asking anyone and bother anybody. And that makes me very happy. On the clinical side of skills I've acquired, a skill that cuts across the rehabilitation at large. This includes skills from a physiotherapist's point of view, skills from a doctor's point of view, just to be well knowledgeable about the rehabilitation process at large. I've used those skills basically to kind of improve the quality of training at Walter Sesolu. I've also used those skills to improve the quality of service rendered in the Department of Health through our students. And that is something that I'm, I've always been looking forward to to bring it back to my department.